Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen drama. There was some community confusion, outrage and discussion over some players that were banned or suspended from the game for excessive player killing and griefing over the last few days. There were various posts on Reddit, on Spectrum, which is the Cloud Imperium Star Citizen specific forums uh, and various other sources that basically talked about some players getting banned and they were getting suspended or warned for killing players in, in a game that's got PvP. So the message that I originally saw posted uh, was from a uh, RSI player relations uh, team member giving a warning to another player uh, regarding in-game conduct. Uh, and the message said, this message is being sent as a warning that your account has been found in violation of our terms of service, specifically the rules of conduct regarding the harassment, excessive griefing, or interference with another player's ability to play the game. Our evidence indicates that you've been engaged in one or more of the following prohibited activities, excessive player killing slash griefing. At this time, we request that you immediately halt this behavior and refrain from these actions in the future. Failure to do so will result in account suspension or permanent closure. This sparked huge amounts of conversation, or at least one of the things that sparked conversation because there's a, a few more posts and a lot more going on here. And the other thing is, is that there's no real details of why that person got a warning other than excessive player killing and griefing and there's no detailed log there's no specifics going on there but this has certainly spooked some of the pvp players and some orgs that play star citizen now suspended or warned for excessive player killing what does that even mean in a game that has pvp so what's happened well it appears that three people have been suspended for three months and many more were given warnings over the last few days CIG has sent a generic response to them for why they were penalized, but community manager Zylo confirms that the reason that many of these people got warnings or suspensions was because of targeted harassment, and that should have been made clear in the emails, and it was not. It was not excessive player killing, it was specifically targeted harassment. Salty Mike had a great stream on Sunday where he covered this topic in great detail. He got a load of people together, ranging from players that had warnings to others that um, do lots of PvP to some that have been harassed. Virgil, who got himself a stream sniping warning, basically a warning for watching someone else's stream to find out where they were and then repeatedly going after them, said that um, lots of his org got warnings for excessive PvP um, in the same style as we read earlier and admitted that on occasion that they had done pad ramming, which is where you ram another ship that is landed in a safe zone. Sort of not much you can do about that. It's a bit of a shitty behavior to be honest but argued that they don't know where the line is for what's gameplay and what's taboo as cig don't really define it properly and the warning notices basically say stop doing this thing but don't exactly define what was done or what the thing is there was another side to this as well. Who's reported these players in the first place? Well, it appears that in some cases, it was streamers or their audiences reporting the stream sniping and harassment. And that certainly happens to some extent, for sure. Both people reporting it and people getting stream sniped and harassed. But it's really hard to work out if someone is actually stream sniping or if it's just a PvP player actively hunting um, when they see a, a, a person. If you see uh, someone that you want to go after online, you see their name, you go, ah, I'm going I'm to take this guy out to, to prove my worth or because lols. It's possible that they are watching the stream or become aware of the stream and then use that, but um, that's really hard to tell. But when does that behavior turn into harassment? There could be very legitimate reasons to go and hunt a player, including wanting to play the game and wanting to do PvP. Basically, some people argued that content creators might be using warnings and stream sniping as a weapon, blanket sort of reporting people and uh, getting their audiences to report people to sort of deal with people that they don't like rather than legitimately beat them in a, in a fight. Uh, Salty Mike admits that he thinks stream sniping happens to him, or at least it's his first thought when he suddenly gets into combat and someone sort of just attacks him and blows him up. It's like probably stream sniping. Um, even if it's not, that's his first thought, and he goes, I probably shouldn't think that. That's a bad habit. Some of these PvP orgs certainly don't need to stream snipe to find players or content creators. They can see them on servers and work out what they're doing or track them pretty easily in game because there's limited locations and limited gameplay options. Stream sniping might just be an easy first thought when it's actually just a ship battle. Some players might see the game as PvE, sort of like their own private lobbies. However, it's not. It is a multiplayer game and PvP will just happen in it. 
There are certain players and even orgs that trash talk online and sometimes they might go after someone that they have a bad relationship with. Maybe there's a bit of banter and can that cross over into harassment sometimes? Yeah, sure it can. Streamers are pretty easy targets for people that want to grief and want to um, excessively harass someone because they give very visible live reactions and you can stream snipe them if you want. Morphologist was on uh, Sorry Mike's show as well and um, he's a pretty active Star Citizen streamer and he has very much been sniped and actively targeted before and he confirmed that he'd been in contact with Cloud Imperium. Um, I think he said he had previously um, reported some people and said that uh, the warnings that was given this time, um, these were suspensions targeting players that had been proven to be griefing harassing or breaking terms of service and it was only a tiny amount of players that were affected only three suspensions were given and was not meant to spook the wider pvp community pvp is very much part of the game but pvp isn't really in game properly at the moment and becoming a criminal and um, just fighting players or camping a station or point of interest or maybe even doing some criminal missions is all there really is for PvPers. So give them a break to some extent. They just want to play the game and they want to potentially give you some more gameplay. Cloud Imperium won't do blanket bans, but will review players that have broken TOS and you might see a ban wave occasionally or lots of these bans or warnings happen at the same time. Some of the other guests that were on that show said that PvP, griefing and the like should be handled within game systems, not you broke the TOS. That needs to be done as little as possible. And totally agree with everyone on that. Um, have as many of these systems handled by in-game systems and laws and decentivize people from going after a single target constantly or attacking in safe zones. There's lots of easy ways of doing that. Uh, we need proper PvP content on hot zones. People want jump town brought back. So this was a location that had very high value trade goods and lots of people would uh, frequent there for high risk, high reward gameplay. Some people would sort of share um, the sort of goods there. People could just um, go and trade there. Other people would lock it down. Other people would um, sort of attack you when you landed. Lots and lots of stuff going on there. It was a perfect place for PvP and everyone knew it. There needs to be stuff like this in game again. The line or red line for what's appropriate is not defined enough by Cloud Imperium and they seem unwilling to give exact details of why players receive warnings. Some people are worried that if they um, knew exactly where the line was and what was not appropriate that they'd literally toe that line and push it as much as they could. So I'd then argue there that if everyone's playing by the same rules and they're not going over the line, surely that's fine. That's, that's what the line's there for to say anything beyond that's inappropriate but anything not beyond it, or even if you're sort of on the line, that's still appropriate, but I think you could argue that it maybe it makes for um, a more normalized toxic sort of behavior in some people, maybe. We certainly need more reasons and gameplay to PvP, although we also need what's almost entirely safe zones as well. We need areas that are much more PvE orientated, much lower risk in those areas. In those safer areas, you want PvP to be super unlikely. And if it does occur, the lawful innocent player um, that's got attacked doesn't really get any form of penalty and gets their ship and cargo paid for by the other player. You pad ram, you're going to be out of pocket and you're going to be in prison. So lots of systems can be put in game easily to solve a lot of these problems. Now, when you're in a high risk um, star system in the future, where it's got huge reward, high risk, lots of PvP happening, and you're streaming, some people are going to use your stream to go after you. So bear that in mind. Um, that's just going to be something that will happen. But when you're in some of these really safe zones and safe star systems, that sort of attack, um, even if you're streaming, is very unlikely to occur. And if it does occur in those safer zones, you shouldn't really be too much out of pocket or have to worry too much about um, what happens to you because you're by the sort of best hospitals or, or whatever if you're in these sort of safer zones. Also, better security systems, better AI, um, better turrets. There's a load of other stuff they can do with defenses and, and that sort of stuff. Now, if you give a player a warning for behavior as well, Give them details so they can dispute it or learn from it. Just saying, you are bad, um, now work that out and don't do it again is not really helpful in my opinion. Also, some in the community seem to jump to conclusions, be that streamers thinking that are being stream sniped or PvP is assuming that Cloud Imperium is preventing them from killing players and everyone's going to get banned. So there, there's a lot of sort of assumptions going on with this. If you are a PvP player 
and you are legitimately going after players and wanting to play the game and messing around and, and, and enjoying yourself, you're not going to get banned. You're not going to get a warning. If you are actively harassing people, swearing in chat, constantly going after the same person again and again and again, preventing them from playing the game by pad ramming them repeatedly and that sort of stuff, you're probably going to get at least a warning at some point. Community manager Zylo went on to say, I have a giant document of feedback to go over with the development team. So hopefully they'll give a bit more clarity about um, what they're going to do to address this in the future, whether they're going to be a lot more clear to players and actually come up with a um, sort of how to play the game terms of service document rather than having lots of vagities going on. I was also given the okay to share some of his uh, PMs with a player. Um, so basically this player had said, I engage in PvP, but right now I try not to target the same player over and over unless they come at me first and Zylo replied there's nothing wrong with targeting the same player over and over if you run into them grab their bounty etc that's fair game pvp happens and we're not here to protect folks from getting killed we're extremely lenient and only get involved when it becomes truly harassment which can involve things like stream sniping exploits pad ramming third party advantages etc and even then if someone is pad ramming we're still likely going to be hands off. I used the word excessive very intentionally when I wrote that post a year or so ago. And this is referring to a post literally talking about very similar behavior. What is griefing? What is PVP? And trying to define that um, from a more official standpoint from sort of Clown Imperium. Unfortunately, it's still pretty vague and lots of people think griefing is PVP and PVP is griefing and any sort of thing that happens to them potentially is griefing and sometimes it's not and that there's a lot going on there. The PVP and what griefing is versus gameplay that debate rages on and has for the past few years. It seems it's only really going to get addressed when there's more gameplay and more in-game systems to support PVP more fully and that could be a while out. I love Star Citizen and I'm looking forward to it getting more fleshed out. I'm not an active PvPer, I do enjoy a little bit of PvP and when someone attacks me in game, as long as I wasn't um, just hanging about being chill, then I quite enjoy the fight. And I really enjoyed Xenothreat Phase 3 with the fleet battle and some random PvPers getting involved there. Though I didn't enjoy Phase 2 with PvPers getting involved attacking cargo ships um, with explosive cargo that just would detonate and you couldn't do anything about it. So that's what it is. When there's nothing I can do about the PvP and I just lose. Like, lol, you are in a prospector. Get good, scrub. So when someone says like that, it's just like, oh, well that's a bit unfair. PvP is going to be important in the game in the future. And it's going to add a lot of content for players. It's going to help drive the economy. It's going to give bounty hunters and escorts and all these other types of um, lawful gameplay loops a reason to exist. And going after another real human and another player is going to be one of the greatest challenges. But it's not ready yet. And that's the issue here. It's not ready yet. And a lot of these things are being discussed and the bit of drama going on about unfinished systems in a game. But what do you think? PvP arguments over what's griefing? Are they dumb at this stage? Why PvP? I only PvE. Do you love PvP and wish there was more to do? Do you wish that they had separate servers with PvE players and PvP players? Do you wish um, there was a PV the PvP slider that they originally wanted to do, but obviously they said no? everyone in the same game and playing on the same servers if possible. Uh, so what are your thoughts on getting vague warnings? Um, do you like the fact that Clan Imperium step in and go, hang on, that's not appropriate behaviour? Have you yourself been stream sniped or actively griefed or harassed? What do you consider to be griefing or harassment? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'm a massive NordVPN shill. Zin somehow represents shilling on the screen. In the current climate and modern digital age, you want your spaceships and internet browsing histories to remain yours and yours alone. I don't want some guy, let's call him Big Jake, I don't want Big Jake to see what I've been looking at. I don't want to even keep a record of what I've been looking at. No stealing my credit card infos, no, 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 no. NordVPN provides protection and anonymity, anonymity, and then it makes you anonymous and accessibility to the internet. And if you are looking for a VPN, consider it because it's also cheap. We use the links below for discounts and deals. Every month we have a ship giveaway, and March is no different. We're giving away a trio of ships, one each to three lucky winners. This month with a Origin 100i, 125a, and 135c, all with game packages. Zin, have them flying around screen. 
All you need to do to be in for a chance to win one of those is comment on any of my videos made throughout the month. More details down below in the description. Please remember to like, subscribe and share the video, tickle the bell, whatever that means. It helps grow the channel and helps us make content more regularly. If you would like to further support the channel, please consider becoming a YouTube member with the join button below the video. You'll get some exclusive content each month as well as a badge and emotes to use in your comments. There's also Patreon and direct donation links too. It's all down in the description below. Click it, all of it. All of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great march and roll on Alpha 3.13. Say thanks for watching, Zin. Thanks for watching, Zin.